Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am in my disheveled apartment still, but by the time you guys see this, I will already be moved. I was gonna be filming a favorites for September, but honestly, I have been in such a different mode. I really don't have any favorites. So this video is kind of a favorites fail. However, I did wanna talk about my upcoming plans. As you all know, if you're subscribed to my channel and watch my Monday plan with me's, I am moving, obviously. I already said that. But anyway, I wanted to address some of the questions that I've been getting in the comments. First most commonly asked question is why was I laid off from my job? Um, you would have to ask my old company, honestly. Um, I know numbers were down and things like that, but I don't really have a good answer for you and I'm not going to speculate, especially on camera. So um, I have my theories, but I'm gonna keep my theories to myself and be a good person. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure, but you know what, all I can do is have a positive attitude and move on with my life. And I wish them well. I hope that they figure out their financial situation. And I really just hope that they don't have to do this to anybody else, honestly. That's, that's my true hope for that company. And I really care about everybody that works there. And I really hope that they figure out whatever situation that they're in and they just don't have to lay anybody else off because it just really, really sucks. One kind of dicey thing that I did have to deal with, um, as you guys know, if you watch the Plan With Me videos, I did sign a brand new lease in Fargo. So I already had put in the notice to leave this apartment and I had signed a year lease for another apartment. So unfortunately they legally wanted to hold me to that. I was however able to get out of that lease which was like super super amazing because I'm like I don't have any money. I don't know what you want me to do. So I kind of went back and forth with the property manager and the properties manager's boss. I don't even know has even talked to him about it. I don't know. But um, he did end up writing me an email uh, stating that he was relinquishing me from all like any other financial obligation to his company which was amazing and I just I felt like so free when that phone call and that email came through. Um, so at least I won't be financially obligated to that. So that is nice. So that being said, this upcoming Sunday, which I believe you're gonna see this the Wednesday after I move, I'm not sure when I'm gonna like clip this and put it together, but it will be after I move. I am going to be moving to Cambridge, Minnesota. My parents actually have a summer place there and they're only there for half the year and actually my mom's gonna leave I think Wednesday or Thursday. My dad already went back to Florida. Um, but then I have the place to myself until they come back. So what my plan is, is that I'm going to stay there in the meantime and I'm going to look for jobs in the cities. I did, however, look for jobs for a few weeks here in Fargo, um, kind of debated if I wanted to like stay here, but honestly, the market isn't that great for jobs and I feel like I was looking at things I was qualified for and I just wouldn't be making as much money, which is kind of odd because it costs more to live in Fargo, North Dakota than it does in like the Minneapolis, St. Paul area, just depending on where you are. So it's just kind of odd, but uh, I don't know. I think I have a lot more opportunity there as well in the cities. So I'm just gonna go with the cities. I have lots more friends and I have some extended family members that still live there. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's the right place for me. Honestly, um, I've addressed this a few times in videos that I really don't want to be in Fargo for my whole life. I don't want to be in a place I feel uncomfortable in and I've always felt like a very distinct uneasy feeling while I've been here. Um, not that anything is wrong with Fargo, it's just that it doesn't feel like home. And really, the city doesn't feel like home either, if I'm being completely honest. Nothing feels like home any longer. Um, everything is very displaced. My parents live in Florida, they're in Minnesota, kind of. They sold our childhood home when they moved to Florida, which was fine. My brother moved to Virginia, then he moved from, to Virginia to Florida, and then Florida to California. So it just feels different, I guess. Um, but being in the Fargo Moorhead community, I've just never, I've never, no, number one, I've never made any good friends at all. I mean, I've made friends and acquaintances, but no one I would like call on a Saturday night and ask them what they were doing. And that's, my own fault. I completely agree. However, being 35, being unmarried, and having no children, you kind of get looked at like, what's wrong with you? 
And you get that in all the markets, and don't get me wrong. But I have nothing in common with a lot of the other people my age. Unless I want to hang out with college students, um, you know, we really don't have much in common. So again, I just have never really felt like I fit in here, and that's okay. But, um, you know, and then I kind of had to ask myself, do I want to stay in a job market that will probably pay me a little bit less and be in a place I don't want to be? And really the resounding answer was no. I don't want to be here. So I made the decision to move back to Minnesota where I will probably be getting a similar dollar amount to what I was making before, like per hour or salary or whatever. Then I'll be with all of my other friends that I know and I've known for many years and feel more comfortable. I feel more accepted, I guess, in the cities. So that is what's happening with me. Um, as for what I'm looking for for a job, I know a lot of you guys have asked the questions in the comments below, especially on my plan with me videos, kind of what I'm looking for. So um, I love doing the things that people don't like doing. So I love like logistics, I love scheduling, I love offices and organization and like assisting, like I love being an assistant to somebody, like I love doing that, I love running offices, like I don't know, it's just like totally my jam. So I don't know, I'm kind of looking for something in that realm, I don't really know what it is, but um, I'm not super into, like I worked for a natural stone company before. It doesn't need to be natural stone, it could be something totally different. We could sell office supplies, or we could sell vehicles, or we could sell construction equipment, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just, you know, love running an office. I think it's really fun. So yeah, who knows what the world has to offer in that respect. Also, I'm gonna say this a million times, if you've watched the Plan With Me videos, you know that I have been doing uh, like unemployment online um, because it was a layoff and it was none of my own doing. Um, I wasn't doing anything wrong. It was just the company was slow and couldn't keep me on any longer and I was an at-will employee. I wasn't a contracted employee. So they were not legally obligated to keep me on for any reason. So um, every Sunday, the way that the North Dakota one works is that you have to go on every Sunday and just fill out the form and say that you're looking for work and put in all the places that you've looked for work that week, um, or at least four of them. You have to write in four, even if you've looked for more, it doesn't really matter. And then, yeah, so it's good to go. But I am changing my residency from North Dakota to Minnesota, but it won't change my actual unemployment claim because I was employed in the state of North Dakota. So I'm gonna do some other work on the back end of that, but I'm really not too concerned about it. And um, I'm just gonna keep on trucking and looking at places in Minnesota and hope it all works out. I'm sure it will. So the other question I've gotten a lot is, how long are you planning on staying at your parents' place? And honestly, because they're not there, I don't really see a huge time restraint on that. So I think it just depends. So once I actually find employment somewhere and I'm feeling comfortable there, I will eventually start looking for renting a place of my own, getting my own apartment, renting my own townhome, maybe even buying a home. I'm not really sure what kind of financial state I'll be in at that point. But I will tell you, I am going to wait a couple of months after I find employment to find a place to live. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I am actually living a little bit farther out of the cities um, while I'm at my parents' place. So, I mean, yes, there's more time in the vehicle, but I'm not really that concerned about that process. I would rather like waste my time in the car, if you will, um, rather than just trying to find a place and then that job doesn't work out or I don't really like it or something like that. So. Um, there's just a ton of places in the cities and I probably wouldn't be like in like Minneapolis, St. Paul like proper. I would be probably like around the cities um, in some of the suburbs or something like that. I mean, even if I were to work in the city, like the actual city city, I probably wouldn't live in the city because you can find a little bit of a cheaper rent um, somewhere else in the suburbs. Another question that I got quite a bit, not online, but like in person, like the people that I know or people that I've actually like conversed with since, is how do you feel about this? And that's actually a really like interesting question. And I mean, I don't really know how I feel like, I mean, I know how I feel, but I feel like I should feel like more angry and more upset and more like mad about it, but I'm really not. Like, I think I would be more upset if there was something that I did that was wrong. I think that's what would make me mad is that I'd be mad with myself, but I really don't have anyone to be mad at. Um, you know, I'm not big on holding grudges. I just, what's the point? I mean, what is the point? And I've actually explained this to um, 
a coworker of mine and we were having a, a chat about everything. And I said, you know what? Me being upset is doing nothing besides making me upset. It's not gonna help the situation. It's not going to make this better. It's going to actually make it worse. So I just kind of go in with that attitude of like, you know, the only person I'm hurting is myself if I get angry or upset about it. Yeah, was it shocking? Oh, for sure, for sure. But you know what? It's like, all right, well, I'm dealt with a, a challenge and I can either be upset about it or I can be positive and try to move on because negativity breeds negativity and positivity breeds positivity. So, you know, you can just try to put a positive spin on it and just live your life to the best of your ability and just call it a day. And I'm also not a person that really gets upset too often anyways about much. Um, it takes a lot to get me like really riled up. Um, I'm definitely a theoretical thinker where I want to think through the problem um, to just say, okay, well, what can I do for you now to make this better? I actually had this challenge this weekend at my second job, at my part-time job. And really the answer was nothing. I couldn't do anything at that point physically. I could not do anything because my hands were tied. I had nothing I could provide this person with to make them happy at that point. And that's kind of how I think about life. It's like, you know what? There's nothing that I can do to make you happier in this situation um, besides be positive and, you know, try to follow up and try to get the proper people to help you out. But, you know, that's kind of how I think about this. It's just like, you know, yes, it sucks, but it's also just like a new avenue to explore and just do something else. So I feel like this is actually going to be like a really positive change and that's kind of the mindset I'm going to go with. We're just going to kind of leave it at that. And the last question I've gotten lots and lots of questions on online and in person is what are you going to do about money? I know that's a really scary topic to talk about, but I figured I would leave that as the last question that I'm going to answer in this video since I have no favorites for the month. This month is not my favorite, okay? It's not my favorite. But honestly, I don't really have the money stress I probably would have had if this would have happened 12 months ago. I started saving quite a bit of money at the beginning of this year as a goal to purchase a home at some point. With my mathematical calculations of what I was able to, on average, save, it would have taken me a couple of years to get a down payment and I wanted to do at least 20% down on a home in Fargo. So I wanted to make sure that I had more than 20% down because there's like clothing costs and there's lots of other costs and fees and you know, outfitting a place and just buying the furniture and just those little things that end up costing money, the cost to move, to hire movers, to get a van or a truck or whatever. You know, so there's, there's lots of extra money that goes out. So that being said, I had a goal for myself at the end of the year that I wanted to save a certain amount of money. Well, I had already hit that goal by June. So that was awesome that I had already hit my year goal in June and I had been able to save quite a bit. So that's awesome. So I actually am on the Dave Ramsey plan. If you guys don't know about Dave Ramsey, I will link his YouTube channel below. He has a radio show that I think is syndicated. I'm not really sure. I know you can listen to it on like podcasts and stuff, but honestly, I started doing his plan before I ever listened to him on the radio or watched his YouTube channel. So I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan, the baby steps. So all the baby steps are actually step zero is getting current with all your bills, which I am. Step one is putting a thousand dollars in a savings account. You want to do that first before you do anything else. Step number two is paying down all of your debts smallest to largest. So if you have a debt for a thousand and a debt for five thousand, a debt for ten thousand, you work on your thousand, then you take all that money that once that debt's paid off, you work on your five thousand and then you work on your ten, if that makes sense. Just watch his channel, like I said, I'm gonna link it below. And then step number three, which is baby step three, which is what I was working on, was a fully funded three to six months emergency fund, which I had already financed all of that plus some. So I already have six months of living expenses in the bank and I feel very confident about that. The reason that I chose six months for emergency fund is because I'm a single individual and I only rely on my own income. Some families elect to do just the three months because they have a dual income family or they have multiple streams of income. So if one job were to go away, they could kind of piggyback on another one. It's just like whatever works for you. But since I am the only one that actually earns an income in my household, because it's just me and the dog, 
and Doyle has still not gotten a job. Like, I don't know what's wrong with him. He's so freaking lazy. But anyway, I decided to go with a six month route just to make me feel more comfortable. And then above and beyond that, I had also been saving for a house. So that was my baby step 3B, if you will. Um, and I had already been maxing out some of my retirement, so I was putting away, I think, like 11% of my income to retirement and all of that. So I, I just feel secure. I don't know how to explain it more than that without sounding like showy or something, but I'm not really a showy person. I mean, I'm wearing a shirt right now that says, keep Minnesota passive aggressive. And then underneath that, it says, or not whatever you think is best. So yeah, I, I guess I'm not really a showy person with stuff. I would rather have my money in the bank where I can see it. It looks really pretty in there. So yeah, if I do need to dip into my savings, I totally can, but that's not the goal. The goal is to find a job. So hopefully, fingers crossed, send me all your good internet vibes. Give the video a thumbs up. That's gonna be good vibes for me. I'm hoping I find a job. Uh, my goal is to find a job that I really, really love by the end of the year. Um, I know that that sounds like way far away, but you know what? Sometimes jobs take a long time to find. And sometimes people are hiring, but they're not hiring for right now. They're hiring when someone is leaving in a month or in two months or in three months or whatever. So um, what's that what that is affording me to do without having a traditional rent payment and things like that is that I can be a little bit more picky and choosy about where I want to be working next. Definitely I'm gonna be doing my research on all the companies that I'm gonna be looking at. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on places to look in the Minnesota area, please let me know. Like I said before, I'm gonna be looking around the Minneapolis, St. Paul area, so if you know of something, hit me up, send me an email, all my links will be below. So I wanted to end on that question because that is probably my most commonly asked question for whatever reason. But I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites fail video slash pretty much like a life update video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you guys. And don't worry, YouTube is staying the same. I'm not going away. I'm still gonna be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The background will probably be a little bit different next time, but you know, we just gotta go with it. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun videos from me. Like I said, I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. So that's gonna be it for me today, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.